Coin Toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He'll return it from the one. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 48. throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Third and three. Ball on the 45-yard line. Nice run there. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. Stop behind the line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Quick throw. And he pulls it down. And they push him out at the 19. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he converts the extra point. It was an eight play, 70 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. Neal's mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. And not only does this guy not get rattled, but he's also a guy that seems to have an uncanny ability to quiet a crowd by making such big plays. He's brought down in the open field. 
I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. First and 10, ball on the 40-yard line. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. So the sack makes this a second and long. Tosses it out. Tackle at midfield. The thing about the toss is if the blocking is set up well out in front of the runner, he can really pick up a good head of steam before he encounters any potential defenders. From the 50, first down. Feeds it to the back. Nice run, and he's brought down. Neal gains about five yards on the run. At the 41. Number 20, the intended receiver on the play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Makes it out to about the 33. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. made right around the 24-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Nowhere to go on a delay. It's the tailback. He's taken down around the 15-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. The 10. There's a strike complete. He's down. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Here's the 12th play of the drive. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. So it's third down and they've got about two yards to go. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 14th play of the drive.
And they make the stop at the three. They're at the three. Second down. They'll bring him down right around the two-yard line. This is the 16th play of this drive. Touchdown, Kansas! The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A long 16-play, 73-yard drive, and they put up seven points. We're even at seven in this one. Kansas gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Get into the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Slings it. Brought down right around the 44 yard line. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Nice run up the middle. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Runs right for a nice game. That's a game seven on the play. First down. After a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He takes it right side for a good game. Game of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. He gets to about the 41-yard line. 
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Give to the tailback. And he's tackled at the 50. We played one. We get a tie game at 7 7. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. They go right and he's tackled behind the line. One yard loss for the halfback. Second down and 12. Ball on the 49. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's the ninth play of the drive. Slings it out there incomplete. Beatty is back deep to return. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Almost intercepted. And they'll fail on fourth down. been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And he's tackled after positive yardage. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 50. throw to the tight end and he's taken down at the 49 Robertson looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt talk about a booming punt my goodness again it's about stressing special teams that is why a lot of head coaches usually run these units. It's because field position is just so important in the game. Gives it to the back. Gets to about the five yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. They line up at the five. It's second down. Scrambling around. Tackle around the 21 yard line. First down. for the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first.
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of five on the way. That makes it first and ten. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That'll bring up a punting situation. This is a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Beatty back deep to return. And he's tackled at the 25. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They go with a counter, and he's hitting the backfield. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Almost has the INT. Was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. And a quick throw. He's tackled in the open field. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 40-yard line, first down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. Gain as he works to the right side. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He fights forward to about the 19. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Uh -huh. 
Slings it right. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Neal up the gut. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on their own 30. Tackle made around the 29-yard line. Skinner was the intended target. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Beatty is the deep man awaiting the return. Beatty takes it to 28. Brought down at the 43-yard line. He showed a good burst there. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Illinois is up a score. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Play action. He scrambled. Going for it all to the end zone. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Unbelievable. He had a pick in the end zone and it just slipped right through his hands. Wow. He is really kicking himself after that one. So they're going to go for it here. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. his hands from the 27 yard line second down and they make the stop right around the 28 yard line the halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage loss of one this is the eighth play of this drive they'll spread the field with five wide
Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Illinois is up by a touchdown. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He's tackled at the 34. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. Complete for three yards, and that's good for a first down. Since he only needed a few yards, the little dump-off pass worked to perfection. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down right around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. quickly and he's got his man he's taken down around the 32 yard line so with a half ending they're just going to try to put three points up on the board the kick is up and he just drilled it from long range a great first half comes to a close 17 10 fighting Illini Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both offenses rolling at will in the first half. And as you watch these teams head to the locker room for halftime, there were some skill guys. That, that chest was puffed out a little bit more. They were kind of looking up in the stands and said, did you see what I just did? <laughs> yeah, see, ready to pad their stats, get some helmet stickers. Yeah, they're all excited. But I tell you what, that's the one thing that's hard about the game of football you see all the time is the momentum swings. Once you really get dialed in and once things start going your way, sometimes it's hard to stop it. And that's why you see runs on offense. And both offenses in great rhythm. I mean, they, they haven't had many negative plays. Everything's gone in the right direction. They're both performing at a high level. One of these defenses in the second half needs to step up, make some plays, get them out of their comfort zone a little bit. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Fielded at the four. At the 30. He's taken down at the 45. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. From midfield, it's second down. Cut. 
He has some room, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 42. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. From the 38-yard line, second down. And now he's got room to run, and he's tackled at the 30-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. Stopped immediately. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. And he's taken down at the 10. That makes it second and two. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. of these guys credit for getting in sync really fighting to create that touchdown here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up and he converts the extra point Kansas is ready to kick it away he really got a hold of that kick He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Tackle at the 33. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 38-yard line. run up the middle so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first he fights forward to about the 46 These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. 
And now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He makes his way to about the 32. First and 10. Ball on their own 32. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. A one-yard gain by the halfback. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. It's third and eight, ball on the 35-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39. He chucks it downfield. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. And he hits him hard at the seven-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He makes it to the six-yard line. Ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Kansas ready to kick this one off. Bryant fields it at the two. He's tackled at the 24. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Knocked out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Check 
Tackle made at the 33 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. Fourth down. Wilson is back to receive. He drops it. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. You got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. And in a tight game like this one, it's a mistake like that one that could really be the turning point in the game. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And he almost has the INT. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From their own 20-yard line, second down, Kansas is up seven. And they'll bring him down behind the line. If you don't get the blocking on the outside, the toss play is going to fail 99% of the time. He's on the run. Under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Good outside run there. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Kansas is up a score. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop at the 28. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That brings, that brings up second, second and nine. nine. From their own 28-yard line, it's second check down. Three, check three, check three. Hey, hey, here, here I come. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. So at the end of three, the Jayhawks lead 24-17. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Loose football. Scoops up the loose ball. So they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop and it looks like they're going to get the football back. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. To review, review the, the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. 
Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Robertson awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Kansas up seven points. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. He's got it with room to run. They get five yards on the play. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. the catch and he steps out from their own 47 yard line first down he gets hit out of bounds right around the 40 They're going to pitch it. He's taken down at the 43. From a defensive coordinator's standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 43. Kansas is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it 37. Five wide. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up, and he hooked it left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Going deep, lays it out there. Hey, this guy's got to forget about the drop. Remember, he was in good position to make a play. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. And he's going to be sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. around the 50-yard line. From midfield, it's first down. Throws 
Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Slings it. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. First and ten. Ball on the 20. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. Game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. And down he goes at the two. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. It's away from him, touchdown! It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. line up to kick this one away he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20 and down he goes at the 24 yard line we might have overtime in the back of our minds but down on the field that hasn't occurred to anyone they want to end this thing in regulation at the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. to return. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45. He makes his way out to about the 35. Ready. Looking right, intercepted. What a crucial 
crucial interception, and that'll change the whole landscape of this game. And now is the time to take advantage. This offense still has a job to do. They need to put points on the board to break this tie. But wow, do we have a great game or what? First and ten. All on the 34-yard line. On the throw, incomplete pass. That makes it second and ten. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Third down, ten yards to go. Ball in the thirty-four. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. They're coming after this punter. Tackle made at the 35. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 39-yard line, second down, less than three minutes in the game. down at about the 41. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick throw. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Let's go! Black with the five! Black with the five! <laughs> Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled in the open field. down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time and he's level at the 33. The Jayhawks taking their first time out of the half. Kicks away and he got it. Set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Talk about a pressure-filled situation. Neal's playmaking abilities have got him to this point, Kirk, and now he's got a chance to put it away. Well, you're talking about one of the most explosive players on this field, and if I'm running this offense, I'm finding any possible way to get the football into his hands. He has the potential of taking the ball to the house anytime he touches the ball. It's pressure-packed moments like this are where great players need to step up. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver.
from their own 45-yard line. First down. Just over a minute left. Taken down to the backfield. He throws left, makes the grab, and steps out right away. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Check like 39. Check like 39. Check on the shoot. Check on the shoot. Watch, watch, watch. Under pressure. And they make the stop at the 41 yard line. Jayhawks are going to call their second timeout. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. They'll bring him down at about the 39 yard line. Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. This game now lies squarely on the shoulders of this kicker. If he misses, then this game is all but over. A make, and we're looking at overtime. The kick is away, and he just didn't have the leg for this one. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. Kansas will use their final timeout. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. score 27-24 Illinois thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA football 14 for Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports Brad Nussler saying goodbye and we'll see you next time